What is going on Pats Nation? It's Patriots Global back here with another video and in this one surprisingly we're going to be talking about Gunnar Olszewski. Now he's really looking to take a big second year jump and how we are hearing a lot of positive things about him heading into his second year in the NFL. Now, Gunnar Olszewski was an undrafted signing by the New England Patriots following the 2019 NFL Draft. They had kind of picked him up pretty later into the uh, the process, but they have him signed through the 2021 season, which means that he will be a 2022 restricted free agent. That's something to monitor is the fact that he won't be unrestricted, so the Patriots will still have some maneuvering ability to work around with him if, let's say, they do want to keep him on the team. Olszewski is a very interesting piece here to the New England Patriots offense. Of course, he was originally a cornerback. He was a pretty good cornerback at that too, and then he made the switch to wide receiver. It's kind of like Julian Edelman, who played quarterback and then made the switch to wide receiver. Or a guy like Jacoby Myers, who did the same thing as Edelman, was a former quarterback, then turned into a wide receiver. In college, though, he really mostly stood out as a return man. He averaged 13.4 yards on 69 career punt returns and also found the end zone once and gained 29.7 yards per run back on 11 kickoffs. Now, the interesting part here is to add that he did not make that switch essentially to wide receiver until after the New England Patriots had signed him to that rookie contract. The Patriots pretty much mainly used him at wide receiver. There was times that they did try him at cornerback, of course, just your classic Bill Belichick move, and we even saw him play a little bit of corner in the preseason. Essentially, the reason why we didn't go undefeated in our preseason this past year was because of that one play by Gunnar Olszewski where he allowed a very late touchdown against the Giants, which lost us a preseason game, but I mean, anyway, it's a preseason game, so it's not really like it mattered. The interesting part here is the fact that Gunnar Olszewski actually had two invitations to be involved in rookie minicamps this past summer. They were actually the New England Patriots and the Minnesota Vikings, but following his workout with the New England Patriots, just kind of decided to sign him to a three-year deal, and he essentially just stuck with the New England Patriots. Of course, making that switch to wide receiver, there was going to be some up and down times, but for a guy who essentially just switched to receiver... He didn't do too bad. There was some pains of taking that switch to wide receiver and changing his position, but he was able to play in the rotation throughout training camp and out of preseason. He even went on to finish the uh, the exhibition schedule as the team's leader in all purpose yards. He also gained a combined 289 yards with 213 of them being in the return game. Essentially, that is where his cup of tea came. That's really how he made the team. He made the 53-man roster was because he was a return man. The New England Patriots didn't have that. Believe it or not, the New England Patriots actually planned to release him during 53-man roster cutdowns. I think we all remember that day Pretty significantly, it was a crazy couple of days for the New England Patriots for the 53-man roster cutdowns. Cutting Demarius Thomas, wanting to bring him back. They cut Gunnar Olszewski. Everyone was upset. But then last minute, they brought him back, and he ended up lasting with the team. He went on to appear in eight regular season games with the Patriots before he had ankle and hamstring injuries, which kind of forced them to put him on season-ending injured reserve during about mid-November. At that point, he had played about 79 of a possible 595 offensive snaps, just 13%, as well as 95 of 234, which is 40% in the kicking game. You can significantly see that the New England Patriots used him more as a return man in the special teams, not so much on offense. Essentially, the only reason the New England Patriots put him in offense is when they had to, when they were really just suffering from a lot of injuries. Julian Edelman... You didn't have Nikhil Harry. You had let go of Antonio Brown, Josh Gordon. It's not like you kept Demarius Thomas. And that is why Olszewski essentially got any playtime as a receiver with the New England Patriots. He was very limited as a receiver, of course, 
what more were you going to expect? Our offense was having troubles from top to bottom, and you had Tom Brady, who, of course, is extremely, extremely picky about who he goes to. So Olszewski finished the season as a receiver with a very limited two catches on four targets for 34 yards. Now, as for special teams, he was able to field 20 punts and ran them back for a combined 179 yards with an impressive average of nine yards per return. Definitely not bad, but... The big thing here, and I think that a lot of people kind of started questioning how ready he was and how much of an impact he was truly going to make, was the fact that he actually had a fumble in week three against the New York Jets, which was actually returned back for a defensive touchdown. Of course, they still won that game, but not a good look there for Gunnar Olszewski. So while he did have some ups, he clearly also had some downs. Now, real quick, guys, as I'm sure you already know, there is no shortage of action going on with our exclusive partners, Bet Online. Sports are slowly making their way back, at least as of now, with, of course, UFC, NASCAR, and soccer leading that pact. Bet Online has all of the best odds and lines for the best upcoming matches this upcoming weekend. Now, of course, if you do need more, Bet Online has simulated NFL, NBA, and UFC events happening every single day, and they are live for you to check out. I know a lot of us here are sports fans, especially for NFL, so that could be a really cool thing that you guys are interested in. Now, if you're someone who's like Patriots Global, I'm just not really into betting on sports. That's perfectly fine because Bet Online has hundreds of live casino games, poker tournaments, and all of the best props in the business. So if you're someone who wants to bet on TV or sports or just going to the casino, then this is the place to do it. I highly recommend that you guys go ahead and visit betonline.ag or use your mobile device and join today to receive your new welcome bonus and start playing today. Guys, BetOnline, your online sportsbook experts. As of late though, Gunnar Olszewski's name has just been heard a little bit more, especially more than we were expecting. Now, as we all know, a lot of New England Patriots players have been holding a various amount of workouts. Some have just been, you know, Cam Newton, Jared Stidham. They're all very much based on different days. Sometimes we hear some players are at uh, some of, of the uh, the practices that Jared Stidham or Brian Hoyer is holding. Then we see that some are, are with Cam Newton. They're kind of everywhere, but essentially a lot of these guys are working out together. And there was just the other day, it was, I believe, Mohamed Sanu, Jared Stidham, Gunnar Olszewski, Brian Hoyer, uh, and David Andrews, just to name a few people who were all working out. And from what it sounds like, Gunnar Olszewski is looking really good, and he is making a lot of positive strides heading into this upcoming season. People didn't go too much in detail. Of course, these practices are private. They're not like they're open to the public. It's not like these players are telling the media, hey, we're going to have a workout. You want to come see us? But of course, they are in public, players are going to talk, and things essentially are going to get leaked, and it looks like Gunnar Olszewski is now a guy to hear and watch out for as we approach the start of training camp. We haven't talked a whole lot about Gunnar Olszewski. Some people have asked me my thoughts, and I've been very open on the topic. I personally have felt like, look, I don't see Gunnar Olszewski making this roster. I think that you know, the Bill Belichick, the coaching staff, I think they like him, but I just think that all odds are kind of panned against him. And what impact is he going to make? A lot of people had high expectations for Braxton Berrios, and he didn't really do anything either. As Patriots fans, we're all kind of just rooting for these guys. We're rooting for your smaller, classic, just white Bill Belichick wide receivers. Because Julian Edelman's getting old. Before Julian Edelman, it was Wes Welker. And we don't have any answers for, okay, what is it going to be like past Julian Edelman? So when Braxton Berrios came in, a lot of Patriots fans were really wanting him to succeed so that he could be the next Julian Edelman, Wes Welker. Now people are doing the same thing that Braxton Berrios is gone, and they're doing it now with Gunnar Olszewski. The sad part here for Olszewski is the fact that I just don't think odds are panned on his favor. The Patriots are stacked at the receiver position. I think when I say stacked, a lot of people get that confused of they have one of the most talented receiver groups in the NFL, and that's not what I'm saying, but you essentially, you have Julian Edelman, who's a lock. You have Nikhil Harry, who's a lock. Jacoby Myers, who is probably going to be a lock. 
Uh, Mohamed Sanu, I would say that he's a lock. Then you have Demir Bird, you have Marquise Lee, you have all the UDFAs. And it just kind of puts you in a position where, okay, where does Gunnar Shesse come in? It's not like he's been making a huge impact in the receiver game to be able to say, okay, he's able to compete with someone for a roster spot at the receiver position. And then when you are looking at the return ability, the Patriots have more guys that are able to take over that role than they did this past season. They have Demir Bird. They have a Mohamed Sanu. They have Kyle Duggar, who a I would say a good reason why they drafted him was because of the ability he has on kick returns and punt returns. So I don't think the Patriots are at the position where they're scrambling to try and find a return man. If I had to compare Gunnar Olszewski to a Patriots wide receiver, I would definitely say it's a Julian Edelman. That is definitely the role that Gunnar Olszewski fills in. Now, that's not to say that he has the ability set of Julian Edelman, but the playing styles, of course, are similar, and Gunnar Olszewski does really monitor his playing style after somebody like Julian Edelman. What I will say about Gunnar Olszewski, guys, is the fact that, look, if he wants to make this roster, and he is doing as well, and he's taking strides like people are saying, then he's going to have to prove it in training camp. Now, luckily enough for him, though, he's not going to be at a position where he's working with Tom Brady. And that's not to hate on Tom Brady, but to say the facts, Tom Brady's picky about who he gives the ball to. And that doesn't really help younger receivers and rookie receivers out like Jacoby Myers or Nikhil Harry or Gunnar Olszewski. He's been working out a lot with guys like Brian Hoyer and Jared Stidham and why that is really good because look, Cam Newton, while everyone's saying he's going to be the Patriots starter, and I agree, like he probably will end up being the Patriots starter, this training camp is going to start as a competition at the quarterback position. And while I think he could get some decent looks from guys like Jared Stidham and Brian Hoyer, I just don't think he'll have that same connection with somebody like Cam Newton. But he is a guy that you're going to want to keep your eye on in training camp. You're going to want to monitor how he does because if he's able to keep his name heard, he's able to be consistent. Most importantly, he is able to build a repertoire, a connection, chemistry with these quarterbacks that could potentially squeeze him on to the roster. And of course, I do love Gunnar Olszewski, so I will be rooting for him. But from a realistic side, I would say that it's a little bit more unlikely that he makes the roster than it is likely, to be quite honest. But like always, thank you guys so much for watching and tuning into this video. I will be dropping a lot more content coming up. I know I've been very busy over the past few days, haven't been able to drop as much content as usual, but I promise you guys that is going to be changing. Now that fan to fan is going to be dropping big, excited uh, announcement now that you guys know that. So make sure you guys tune into that fan to fan link will be in the description below. Make sure to guy, make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up if you haven't already and subscribe to the channel for all of your new England Patriots news. But like always, thank you guys so much for watching.